19-year-old Olivia Juliana raised over $2.2 million for abortion rights after a Twitter battle with Republican Congressman Matt Gates. It all started with this comment from the congressman at Turning Point USA last month. Like, why is it that the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions? Nobody wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb. These people are odious on the inside and out. They're like 5'2", 350 pounds. Now, Olivia responded to that on Twitter, saying Matt Gates has said it's always the odious 5'2", 350-pound women that, quote, nobody wants to impregnate who rally for abortion. I'm actually 5'11", 6'4", in heels. I wear them so small men like you are reminded of your plates. Now, Gates then posted a photo of Olivia writing, Dander Raised, along with an article about his speech. And that's when Olivia decided to see this as an opportunity, writing in honor of Matt Gates publicly body shaming me. I'll be fundraising for the Gen Z for Change Abortion Fund. Now, with that fund now over $2 million, ABC News reached out to Congressman Gates for comment. A spokesman from his team said, with Roe v. Wade overturned, America is now a pro-life nation. No amount of solicitations will change that. An abortion rights activist and strategist for Gen Z for Change, Olivia Juliana, joins me live now for more on this. Olivia, when you sent that original tweet, did you ever think it would lead to this? Absolutely not. I had no idea, for one, that the congressman would respond, but that he would respond in the way that he did, seeing as he is a sitting member of Congress and I am a teenage activist. So I was in complete shock when I saw that he had publicly tweeted out my photo. You've now brought in over $2 million in donations. What is that money going to go toward? That money is going to be split amongst 50 abortion funds across the country, but they don't just provide abortion services. They help people get access to a large amount of different reproductive health care services, including access to contraceptives or sex education, things that have been targeted a lot recently by Republicans in specific states. And what made you think of that? What made you look at this exchange and say, you know what, let me turn this into a fundraiser? I'm a political strategist and an activist. And when I have the opportunity to share and do something with my work that'll help people in my community, that's what I'm going to do. Congressman Gates gave me the opportunity to have a national platform to tell people why abortion access is important and raise money for abortion access. And you said that this now motivated you to try to get out the vote. Why is that important to you? And what are you doing to try to get Gen Zers to the polls in November? You know, I, I live in Texas, and it's one of the most restrictive states in the country for abortion access. But it's not just about abortion access. It's about freedom to choice. It's about what's constitutionally right. And it's about protecting your privacy as a private citizen. Voting is how we're going to protect these rights going into the midterm election. It's how we're going to protect them in the future. And so by motivating young people to vote, by highlighting the fact that these are the people in Congress making laws about their bodies, these are the people in state legislators making laws about their bodies, that they'll realize the severity of the situation and be more motivated to vote these people out come November. All right, Olivia Juliana, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.